Uh, hello, so this is kind of the sequel video to my previous video where I showed you how to set up a model from War Thunder of either a tank, uh, helicopter or a plane and set up that for 3D skinning and substance or something like that. Uh, this one's just going to be showing you how to do it with a tank or ship. They're a tiny bit different because there's like separate UV meshes all part of the same model. So you just got to do the same thing a couple of different times. So uh, we're just going to start by importing the Centuro model I downloaded. All these models come from a site called gamemodels.ru. Um, it is paid for, but it doesn't cost that much, and in my opinion it is very much worth it if you want to get into 3D skinning. The alternative is that you can uh, use a program called Ninja Ripper to get the models off the CDK, but I don't know how to use it, and I think it's quite complicated, so honestly I just bite the bullet and buy the subscription if that's what you want, it's not that expensive. So first we're going to tap 6, so the textures appear on the model like this. Um, then we're going to go up to this thing here, um, and we're going to delete all of the parts I know I don't want. I'm going to keep these ones here that's ha that have hints of green on them because I'm not sure which part of the tank they are yet. And I'm going to keep this one here with the M on it because I'd say that's probably the hull's texture. Um, normally the largest textures, like they don't preview a thumbnail for some reason or whatever. Just always keep those ones really. But select these ones here that you know aren't going to be part of the tank itself, like this. You know that you're probably not going to be reskinning that. In reality, it's probably like a, a 64 pi pixel file, and it's just for one tiny, tiny little part that the modelers use over and over. And these ones you just leave. So go select those, edit, select objects with materials. Yep, so that's all this stuff, which I know I don't want. Uh, if you were doing a proper job, you might want to reskin the machine guns. Uh, it's probably worth doing, but I'm not actually skinning this, I'm just doing it for tutorial's sake. So I'm going to drag it out, use this tool, drag it out the side and smack delete. And then draw a box around where it was, because sometimes it doesn't delete these little pixels and that'll really mess with your skinning. So just draw a box around and hit delete again to get rid of anything left. And now what we're going to do is go back into Hypershade. And uh, I'm just going to start with the hull, so that's probably this one I would say. Edit, select objects with materials. Yep, that's the hull. And we're going to go here. This is channel box slash layer editor, which should pull up this box on the side. And then you click this one with the plus. That makes a new layer. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it hull. Save. And then right click that, add selected objects. So now the hull there is in this layer. And see, we can just turn it off like that and then click this box so an R pops up for reference and then we can just hide that for now I'm going to make a new layer preemptively and just name it turret uh, go back into hypershade and now I deleted all these ones, I remember I kept this one because that's probably either the turret or the gun, I'm not too sure select objects with material yep that's the turret, so right click over here, add selected objects reference turn it off um, it looks like these are separate objects. I think what we can do is probably just select them like that and delete. Uh, that would be, those two would be different and then the gun and those two would be one of these three here. Um, I don't know which is which so I'm just going to check all of them. It's not that one, that was one of the MGs. Edit, select objects. Not that one, that was the other one. So lucky last, I suppose. There you go, that's the gun. So we'll make a new layer. Name it gun. Right click, add selected objects, reference, turn that off. Okay, I suppose we'll start with the gun, because I've got that one selected. Uh, untick reference, so you can select it. And you're going to go back into Hypershade here. It was that one, so click on whatever the texture was of the layer that you're doing. So if I was doing hull, I'll do this one. So we're doing gun, so we'll select the gun one and delete it. And then it should turn green, like that. Then we select that, right click, hold it down, assign a favorite material, lamb it. And then that's all good. Go back in here. Now I'm going to go UV, UV editor. 
And so, I don't know why it does this, but basically the UV should be up here. It should be in like, if this is a Y and an X, it should be in like the 0, 1 to 1, 0 kind of area here. But for whatever reason, it's down here. So, you want to just sol oh, go right click, select UV shell, then draw a box around that. And check over here this transform box that you've got move selected to 1.0 here and then you just tap your up arrow and now it's in the right place and also just a side note I don't think it would happen with this model it normally happens with ships in my experience you might have um, so I just left click on this little island here you might have a bit just sticking like right over the border here like that so that's like the the edge of the box it can be in and if it's like that um, substance isn't going to work with your model so it's worth, if substance isn't working, one of the first things you should probably check is just go into UV and just check all these little islands aren't overlapping and if you do find one that is over overlapping like that all you have to do is just click on the island and then you can just drag it back into where it's supposed to be um, so that's a pretty easy fix but it can be a little tedious to go around and look especially if you're doing like a ship or something and you've got like 15 different UVs that you've got to look at, look at. but uh yeah, that's a pretty easy fix, that one. So we're just going to close that, and now the gun there is all ready to get exported. So I'm just going to deselect all, select it again, and file export selection as gun. Make sure you picked FBX, ex FBX export. Um, I'm just going to export it right back into the folder, the download folder that I had the original model in. Export selection. And now we can turn that off, put it back on reference, let's do the turret next. Take it off reference, um, going to go back into Hypershade. This was the turret here, let's delete it. Um, turns green, select, assign favorite material, Ooh, Lambert. There you go. And then we go back into our UV editor, just like that. Once again, they're always in the wrong place. I have no idea why. Do that one there. Um, this UV looks a little interesting. There's a bit of overlap going on. So I think I've done something wrong here. Uh, I think what I did is when I like manually deleted the MG parts by drawing a box random, I don't think that works. So I think what you've got to do is go into your hypershade and it was these two. Edit, uh, select objects. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to bother with that now. But I just I think I did that wrong. So don't do that. Let's just ignore the turret. <laughs> uh, it's the same process with every part. So I did the gun right. So basically just copy that. And then the hull here. We'll do that last. Let's see, up here. Delete the hull file. Hull turns green. Select, sign favorite material, Lambert. Uh, let's go back in UV editor. Uh, that one looks a bit better. Right click UV shell, select. Sometimes takes a while for the larger ones. And up arrow. Uh, Deselect all, reselect it. I don't know why, it just likes it doing that when you export it, and let's export that one as hull. Just chuck it in the same folder, FBX export. Now if we jump in substance here, we can just go new, select, let's do the hull, open, OK. There it is. So we know it worked, because, uh, and we know there weren't any o like overlapping UVs or anything like that, because it actually loaded in. Uh, that's just what it does. Um, if it doesn't load anything in, it'll say something like loading 3D scene failed. That means probably you've got a UV that's poking out over the border like I showed, or I don't know, something is wrong, but I would be checking the UVs on the border first. And there it is. Uh, I'm going to try and make another video where I show you how to like put decals on and do some basic painting in Substance. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I don't really know how to use Substance myself. So, stuff like a weathering, I really can't make a tutorial on because I don't know how to do it. I really just use Substance to, like, d 
define parts. So I'll be like, you know, getting this tool and then uh, like if I want to make this bit red, all the handles are red now. So I think it's really useful for that kind of thing because that will take you forever if you're trying to do it manually in Photoshop using like a, a grid system or something like that when no, I can just go along, you know, pick whatever parts I want really. Um, side note, yeah, often they're mirrored, so obviously these nuts here, they're probably all mirrored. See, like those two, I only clicked on one, they're mirrored. Um, there are ways to get around that so that your cameras won't be messed up. I might make a future video on it, I'm not sure. And yeah, that's about it. I still do a lot of work in Photoshop because that's just what I know how to use. Um, I plan on maybe doing a couple aircraft skinning projects and hopefully maybe making some videos of the whole process. I think some people might find that interesting. Um, and I'll definitely try and do a video in the near future showing how to put down decals and cameras in substance. But it will be very basic stuff. There won't be any weathering or anything because I just haven't learned it yet. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you need help with anything, I would like to to like, you know, make more videos with this kind of st stuff. I, I enjoy doing this kind of thing and I like making videos for it. So please, you know, if you think I could help with something, just write it in the comments and maybe I'll make a video of it. Also, uh, in the description, I've put a link to a, like a skinning server for War Thunder. Um, it's a little bit dead, but I'm fairly active in there. So if you need a hand with something, um, maybe just join that. And, uh, I'm sure myself or someone else in there would be very willing to help you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.